In this video, I will make a full in-depth review about the HP Victus 15L and also there are going to be benchmarks on this video, so make sure to see until the end if you're interested to see the different features that this PC has, but also the most important part, how it performs while gaming. Now, I will make another video about this PC only for benchmarks and I will be testing a couple of features that this PC has as well, so make sure to hit that bell button if you want to get notified when I upload that video. Without further ado, let's start. So first of all, let's break down the specifications for this specific model and on this part, I will also explain on how to make this PC cheaper without losing much performance, that way it becomes a much affordable gaming desktop for everyone. So for the GPU and the most important component on a gaming desktop, we have the RTX 3060 Ti. This one is more than capable of course for 1080p gaming, if you're just going for 1080p gaming then you may want to downgrade to the 3060 and save some money because the 3060 for 1080p is going to be way more than enough, but of course if you really want that extra performance the 3060 Ti is the best option. Then for the CPU it comes with the i7-12700, this one is the non-F version which is really important for productivity work such as 3D rendering and video editing because it comes with in integrated graphics as well that will help you out on those type of tasks. Now for gaming itself, once again, I think the i7 is a little bit too much for everyone and most people will be happy with the i5-12400 which is going to be once again more than capable even for 1440p gaming. Now this is really easy to upgrade and downgrade, you just have to click on customize and buy from the link down below in the description and you can change all the settings that I'm talking about. Then for the storage you get 1TB of SSD which is basically the standards nowadays. It might be enough for you or you might need more storage, this depends on the games that you want to install on this gaming desktop. Then you get 32 gigs of RAM which is great for gaming but also streaming and multitasking because you get 32 gigs. Now 16 gigabytes is going to be more than enough for gaming and with that being said let's break down the price and how to make it cheaper. So the total price for this specific model of the Big 2 15 l is 1554 bucks with 99 cents. With that being said you end up saving 250 dollars because it's on a discount right now and don't get me wrong this price is actually insane for the type of pc that you're getting we're talking about the i7 latest gen 3060 ti 32 gigs of ram so it's actually a great price but if you have a lower budget than 1500 dollars which is totally understandable you can have a really similar gaming experience without losing much performance and being much more affordable but if you have a budget that's 1500 dollars i think that this pc it's a great choice now we still have to see the software and a couple of things before making the final conclusion but I think that for the price you are getting great specifications. Now to make this PC cheaper the first thing that I would downgrade would be the RAM. I don't think that you need 32 gigs of RAM for gaming, it's not going to make your FPS higher at all but it's going to help you if you want to open a lot of tabs while you're playing or you want to stream with a lot of tabs open and you're doing a lot of multitasking then 32 gigs of RAM is going to make sense but for gaming 16 gigs is more than enough. If you do this downgrade the total price will be $1400 so if you have a $1400 budget you can go with these settings instead. If you have less money the next component that I would downgrade would would be the CPU to the i5-12400, like I've said before, the i5-12400 is definitely more than enough even at 1440p gaming and unless you're a professional video editor, I don't actually recommend you going for the i7-12700, I think that you're spending a lot of money for just a little extra performance while gaming. If you do this downgrade, the total price will be $1200, so if your budget is $1200, this will make much more sense. If you have even less money, I will recommend you downgrading the storage to 500 gigs of SSD. Now if you're going to download a lot of big files and heavy games such as Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 5 and overall games that are at least 50 gigs then I do recommend you staying with 1TB of SSD but if you're just going to download games like Valorant, CSGO then 500 gigs of SSD is going to be enough and the total price would be $1100. If your budget is around that number, great. If it's even lower, then you can downgrade the GPU to the RTX 3060 and settle for 1080p gaming, which the 3060, like I said before, is more than enough 
for 1080p and the total price would be $1,044. Now this last downgrade is the one that I do not recommend you doing because it's only a $50 difference and the performance difference from the 3060 Ti to the 3060, believe me, that is huge. So in my opinion, this sweet spot for this PC is having the 3060 Ti and 1TB of SSD and downgrading everything else. So the total price will be $1,200 and you will be getting a gaming PC with the 3060 Ti, a terabyte of SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, the i5-12400, I think that overall it's a great PC for the price and believe me that you won't find any other gaming PC at $1200 with the 3060 Ti and the i5-12400 so it's actually an excellent price and it's on a deal right now so I do recommend you getting it as soon as possible if you have the budget to do it. And don't worry if you got lost with all of these specification settings I will leave down below in the description everything I did step by step in order for you to end up buying the right gaming PC and not overspending your money. Also the design of this PC is pretty nice it has that wide look and one thing that I gotta say is that it's pretty small so it can fit in any desk and the lights are great which you can change them on the omen software this software is actually pretty good and it has a lot of features for your gaming pc such as light customization you can see the system vitals power options performance control to actually make this pc even better for games or make it more quiet and it even has a network booster so first of all we are talking about the light customization because a lot of you like rgb and the design overall looks pretty nice but you have plenty of options for colors you can go for the basic ones or actually customize it by yourself but you will also have animations i really like the static option but you can go for different animations and colors then on the performance control tab you can optimize your performance by selecting different modes. Now, every single benchmark that I will make on this video is going to be with the default option, but on the other benchmarks video that I will make, which will have much more games, I will test these other two options, the performance one, which is suitable for gaming, but it will increase the heat and the noise levels, which by the way, I tested the max fan speed, which sounds like this. Now, while gaming at 1440p, the fan never reached the max, so there's nothing to worry about basically, so don't worry, it won't be loud while you game. And then there's a quiet option, which is going to keep the fan noise to a minimum, but it's going to reduce your gaming performance, so I do recommend you going for the quiet option if you're playing high demanding games that don't require high FPS, but if you're playing FPS games like CSGO and Valorant, I recommend you just going for the default since it will be more than enough for high refresh rates. But don't worry, you will see the difference in my benchmarks video. And then on this system viral stuff, basically you can see your network speed, your GPU, CPU and RAM utilization, also the temps for the CPU and GPU, the storage, as well the top processes, you can basically see everything and there are different modes and you can also see all of the specifications. So overall the Omen software is great, I do really like it. So so I really love this software. Now I'm going to do benchmarks in a couple titles, those being Fortnite, Red Dead Redemption 2. Before doing this test, I want to say that this PC has some lower and I do recommend you uninstalling the McAfee antivirus if you want to get higher FPS than I did. But with that being said, let's start with the benchmarks and you can even get higher FPS if you are not recording and you don't have the antivirus. All of these games are going to be tested on a 1440p, a 165Hz Omen monitor. So you can also expect higher FPS at 1080p.
So as you can see the Pictus 15L is excellent for 1440p gaming let alone 1080p, with that being said, I'll give you my final conclusion. So I do think that this PC is worth the price, however, I think that if you're just for gaming and you're not a professional, I do recommend you doing some downgrades so you save up some money, don't worry, if you got lost, you will have all of the information down below in the description, but also on the comment section. Keep in mind that the price for this PC changes basically every week, because sometimes they have a deal, so make sure to stay tuned to find a good deal, now it's going to have a new deal the 4th of july one and i will make a full video about those deals so make sure to click the bell button so you get notified when i upload them so thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i'll see you on the next one